Welcome to 9th of April's Godly Pissing. Have you seen a moth which actually flies to the light and actually flutters around it for a very long time till the time its time comes? Yes, it falls down and the soul within that moth leaves the body. So God over here says, may you be a be an embodiment of light and show wandering souls their elevated destination with your elevated stage. Well, that our stage has to be very elevated. That means it's not a physical stage, but it's a mental and emotional and spiritual stage. Just as moths automatically fly to a physical light, you just have to put on the light and open the window and all the moths will start coming in. In the same way, wandering souls will come to you sparkling stars at a fast speed. For that, we have to be sparkling. If you have any impure thoughts, any greedy, jealous, hateful, revengeful thoughts, then we are a dark light, not a white light or not a pure light or a sparkling light. For this, practice seeing the sparkling star in the center of each one's forehead. That means practice seeing a soul in a physical body. That means see beyond the skin, beyond the physical things. Do not see the bodies while seeing them. Let your vision always go to the star, that is the light. When such spiritual vision becomes natural, Wandering souls will find their destination through you souls. So other souls will have deja vu, they'll have a an, uh, an, uh, feeling of spiritual awakening while meeting you and this is possible. Why? Because you'll be practicing soul consciousness. That means looking at yourself as a point of light, divine being, a spark of light and also looking at others beyond the physical features, beyond the physical aspects. Which is also known as Maya or the world which makes you feel or encourages you to go into lust, anger, greed, ego attachment and that's all coming from this physicality. But when we start looking at other people beyond their physical bodies and physical attainments and accomplishments and we start looking at them as a point of divine light then those souls feel that something is coming from you which is so divine and pure. And that is what God is saying, that you can help those wandering souls reach their destination. How do you do that? Is what you learn on a daily basis in Brahma Kumaris. It's a process, not a one day event. It's a process of taking care of every darkness and removing and peeling it off from a life and throwing, throwing it away from a life and then in place of it imbibing something more divine and pure. You two are most welcome to learn this beautiful art at Brahma Kumaris. Shanti.